Uh, well, after having such interesting talks, I think that I'll be taking the topic to a bit more boring level now. So I believe that everyone over here must have heard about Jarvis or Iron Man. But, and everyone would love to have their own Jarvis. And that's where we began. So what exactly is AI? Whenever we talk about artificial intelligence, people think that it's a really boring topic. And no one actually wants to listen what it actually is. Artificial intelligence is nothing but simply making a computer like a human. Not that it can feel as of now, it doesn't have the sense of touch, smell, or any other senses that humans possess, but giving it the ability to think and to react to a human how I would to anyone over here. So basically what we are trying to say is that a computer has more processing speed, it's more faster than a human. So is that a piece of metal more powerful and intelligent than a human being? Being after all said that a computer is created by a human. Uh, in a way, yes. But again, the computer needs to understand what the human is actually saying. Now when we talk about artificial intelligence, there are two types of things that come into play. The first are a machine learning program. A machine learning is simply um, a program that adapts according to the user. Now say we create a program and just give it a training set, it's going to adapt and going to predict something. That's artificial intelligence. Another sol problem solved of uh, artificial intelligence is rule-based sets. Say for example, I have a program and I have given it a certain set of rules. Now uh, the best example for this would be any rover that's on Mars currently. Now say we have told the rover that your first priority is to finish your mission. Your second priority is to maintain yourself as to do not get harmed by any external factor. And the third priority is that you need to take some samples back home. Now say he comes across an alien on Mars, what is he going to do? The alien would obviously be surprised as to what a rover is doing over there. And say he is a bit confused and he starts hitting it. Now, how would you think that a rover would react? Anyone? What would the rover do when the alien starts hitting him? OK. Now, say, but he doesn't know the difference between an alien and a man. OK. To complicate things, say, for exa say that it also has the ability to hit someone back. Then what is it going to do? It just has the ability to learn, it has the ability to fight, it knows that it needs to protect itself, but is he going to fight back or is he just going to run away? So there's no one to give any command over there. So there's no answer to that question. You cannot any, with any day predict what the rover is going to do in such a scenario. That thing is called singularity. So is it really far that AI is such a huge thing, we think that it might hit an alien or a human or it might not. But is it something that we might see in say 100 years? No. We've been, use, we've been using artificial intelligence since the early 1950s. Uh, whenever we go online, say on a site like Amazon or Flipkart, we always have those recommendations uh, below. Or if we are browsing Netflix, it always tells us as to what we would like. Those are the examples of artificial intelligence that we come across on a day to day basis. Uh, you log into Facebook and you see that you can find someone who you know, and it's recommended that you can add them as a friend. Now, Facebook has evolved the recommendation system over 10 years. And they've come to a point where it just keeps on learning. It sees how you interact with other people. It sees who you, who you know. It sees what all information is there on your system, on your mobile phone, your phone numbers. And based on that, it will tell you whether uh, you would know this person or not. So can artificial intelligence get confused? No, humans do get confused. If, if, uh, if I'll tell someone to go left and the other person would say go right, where would a human go? 
And what we are also saying is that artificial intelligence is nothing but making a computer think like a human. So if we can get confused, can an AI get confused? It certainly can. What happens is when a rule-based system is mixed with a learning-based system, it, get, it tends to get confused. Now, you're telling him to learn from your experiences, but you're also telling him that you also need to do this. The best example is not something that I'll give from a real world because we haven't come across that, but it's a movie called iRobot. Has anyone seen that? Now, I'm sure that you would know that in iRobot, uh, the machines have been uh, rule based on three main points. Do not harm a human, always help others, and something other. Now, they are also being taught that you need to learn from your own experiences. What would the robot over there do? Anyone? Okay. You do have an answer for this, just for a hint. Okay. So uh, let's take another example. Now, there's a robot. I told him that your first priority is you cannot ever harm a human. Your second priority is that you need to harm a human. Then what? Sorry? So now, if I, hit the, if I go and hit the robot, what do you think it will do to me? <laughs> That's a really good answer. But uh, for argument's sake, let's just say that it does not have that ability. Well, in that case scenario, there's always uh, something which is called reboot. Now, in that scenario, a system would always shut itself down until it receives any external command. Now, what you also need to understand is that computers are always programmed by human beings. Now, when a computer is being programmed, there are, all, there are always something called default values. In default values, what you do is, if a computer ever gets confused in this case scenario, uh, it always goes to the default value, and usually it's something to shut down, so it will. So, singularity. Uh, any science students over here? Heard of singularity while doing physics ever? Inside a black hole? Yes, inside a black hole, yeah. So how is singularity related to something which is in computers? Anyone knows the definition of singularity, normal singularity? Uh, in a way, but what's the core definition you would say of singularity? Yes, something which you do not know. In artificial intelligence, singularity is a hypothetical scenario in which the computers will be so evolved that humans will never be able to predict what their next move will be. Now, that's a point where usually people have been talking about these days that there can be only two scenarios. One would be a good scenario or the worst case scenario. So in the worst case scenario, do we need some backup with us because Terminator tells us that we do need some heavy artillery with us so that we can survive? Uh, there might be a case. So in the good outcome, in the bad outcome, sorry, singularity might uh, enable the system to attack us. Now the only way it's going to do that is if it finds that we are harmful towards him or the environment that it's sustaining itself. But what if it doesn't ever reach that stage. Do we get to live forever? Leading AI experts in the world have been talking about that by 2045, artificial intelligence will reach singularity, and after that, we'll be able to find a way to immortality. But does anyone want to live forever is the question that we need to ask ourselves. So even if we do reach that stage, is it a good thing for the mankind, or is it a bad thing? Well, if we don't read that state, the other scenario is that the robots are going to come and kill you. In that scenario, yes, even we tend to get confused. But what if there's a way that both the things can be avoided? Robots don't come and kill us, nor we get to live forever. And that's something that we should really focus on. Artificial intelligence, no doubt, is something which can never be predicted by anyone. But there are scenarios in which we can control it. So there have been talks going on that the world needs an artificial intelligence-based 
not an artificial intelligence base, but uh, sort of like a UN for AI advancement, in which what people are going to do is they are going to monitor all the AI activities that have been going on so that they can control. Now, consider this scenario. Imagine a world with tall buildings and flying cars. Now, that's a line that I just love saying. And you're standing on your, say, 60th floor, looking out of the window, and you just think that I can use a cup of coffee right now. The next thing you know, there's a small robot with a tray in his hand, and he's getting you coffee. Would anyone like to have that? So is that a better scenario? Or would you like to get killed by one of them? Or would you like to live forever with them? <laughs> yes, you can do that, but OK. There is, no doubt. OK. Uh, say, for example, you want to eat something, and you're outside. And it gets you over there while you're stuck in a traffic jam. Would you like that? Or would you like to cook over there as well? <laughs> OK. So that's where we are actually heading. With Fios, what we are trying to do is we are trying to control AI as much as possible. We are, gonna tra we are trying to train it to a till a certain extent that it just knows what the human is saying rather than give it a, a self-consciousness. Now, contradictory, it is not a proper singularity because uh, that would mean that the operating system can think of its think on its own and make de decisions on its own. But we are control singularity is in which you give the OS or any program the power to think, but at the same time in a limited way. Now, say for example, the best way would be when you are teaching a child. Uh, you teach him how to read, write. But if I just tell him that there's only one language in the world, which is English, I, and he doesn't have access, access to internet or any other external factors, and whatever I teach him is in English. When the child goes out in the world, he would just think that everything is English. There's no other language that exists. That's because we have control how he proceeds, and there are certain texts. But that doesn't also mean that he won't be able to make his own decisions. So the same way we are trying to do with AI. Uh, oh, that's all. Thank you.